And looking ahead tonight, the funeral service for Deputy Micah Flick is tomorrow. He was shot and killed on Monday. Thousands of people from our community are expected to turn out to honor him. Bill Folsom is here now with a preview. Bill. Yeah, the funeral is at 1 o'clock at New Life Church, and the public is welcome. After the funeral, there is a procession that will shut down roads. Here's the map to give you an idea of what you need to watch out for. It starts up here at Interquest Parkway, New Life Church. It goes up to Highway 83, a major intersection, moves on to Powers Boulevard. There are overpasses, but here at Research, there is lights there. The other major intersection right here, Woodman and Powers, where they will head out east going to Meridian Road. Also lights along there. That could be closed for hours. The sheriff's office, they ask for flexibility. We don't want to frustrate anyone, but we do want to pay proper respect. A service for a fallen officer, respecting family wishes, considering the department, also law enforcement at large, and the community. I would say get there early. Uh, we're expecting uh, up to 8,000 people. It is the conclusion of an overwhelming week for the Flick family and for the sheriff's office. Most of the department will be able to attend because of an outpouring by other law enforcement. The counties around us have offered to take our patrols for us. They have offered to help with our dispatch. They have offered to come in and man the jail for us. That means the world. Funeral is scheduled for two hours, but there is an hour of pad on either side to go short or long. After the funeral, roads could be shut as long as two hours.